The design goal of the 4052 and 4054 was to create a system that would be eight times faster than the 4051. The 4052 and 54 use a 16-bit processor created from four AMD 2901 ALUs microcoded to emulate the instruction set of the Motorola 6800 processor that was used in the 4051 so the 4051 firmware could be transferred to a faster processor with no changes. Tech management wanted to minimize the risks inherent in making changes to the original firmware which was written in 6800 assembler. The 8 times speed up was to be achieved by three factors of two. First, the basic clock speed would be 2 MHz, more than twice that of the 4051. Secondly, the 16-bit memory width would double the memory bandwidth. Third, a Harvard architecture with separate code and data spaces would allow simultaneous access of data from one instruction while fetching the next, thereby doubling the throughput. However, since the original firmware was written for an 8-bit processor, the 16-bit memory width rarely benefited performance. The overlap of instruction and data fetch was tricky to implement and would not be working for the first production version of the instrument. The result was less than three times overall speed improvement. However, the separate code and data spaces did allow increasing the working memory to 64K with 56K bytes available to the user after system overhead. Also, the code space would be doubled from 32K to 64K, allowing for future firmware additions using internal memory instead of external ROM packs. The 4051 used 48-bit floating point arithmetic implemented in 6800 assembler. Graphics operations heavily use floating point calculations, so an obvious way to improve performance would be to implement the floating point functions in microcode. This would require extensive changes to the original firmware, which tech management resisted because of the perceived risk. However, when it became obvious the performance goals would not be met otherwise, management relented. New microcode was written, and unused values in the 6800 opcode map were assigned to floating point operations. The firmware was modified to call the new floating point opcodes in place of calls to the original floating point code. The result was about a 30 times speed up for computations only, and more than 8 times speed up in graphics performance as will be shown. Calculation of transcendental functions and matrix operations particularly benefit. This is the program that runs on both machines except the 4052 version is set to loop. It's a simple sine of x times x. Both programs are started at the same time. The 4052 is on the main screen and the 4051 is the small frame. The 4052 runs the program eight times while the 4051 runs it once. The 4052 would be even faster if it were not doing erasures between iterations.